What's pretty cool about that is it was an anom anonymous donor, yeah. so they don't even want the credit the or the attention. Yeah. Very, very cool. All right, well, get ready for another hot one today. It is going to be temperatures in the mid 90s with high humidity and we are already in the low 80s this morning across Lee County 82 degrees on Sanibel 80 already for North Ford Myers when you factor in the high humidity it's already feeling a couple degrees hotter than that so do yourself a favor this morning for you step outside we you know grab the umbrella grab the extra water you are going to need it later today live Doppler radar is looking great for your Tuesday morning commute. We are sweeping clear in real time red this morning. No rain to track for you, but a couple of stray storms well offshore that will stay offshore throughout the mid morning. Take a look at how fast it is going to heat up. These are forecast heat index values. So what it's actually going to feel like feeling like the triple digits by 10 a.m. Feeling as hot as 105 to 110 by two o'clock. Now this is also when we'll start to see some of those showers and storms and then into tonight it could still be feeling scorching even around sunset so find ways to stay cool if you work outdoors today know the signs of heat exhaustion and consider limiting your time outdoors during the afternoon if you can throughout the mid morning we're going to see partly sunny skies and it's going to be a beautiful start to the day heading into about one o'clock i'll already be tracking some pop up rain to start off and then isolated showers and a few thunder storms heading into tonight with scattered storms still lingering along the coast. You'll notice there are still a lot of pockets that will be dry. In fact, I expect most inland communities to not see the rain at all today. And even along the coast, we are going to be seeing hit or miss showers and storms. So keep the umbrella handy. A lot of these storms will be targeting areas west of I-75 and then we'll see lingering rain even into around 10, 11 o'clock tonight. It's going to be another very warm and muggy evening as well with lows only around 80 degrees. Looking at the Atlantic Basin this morning, of course, about two months out from the statistical peak of hurricane season, we're actually seeing the tropics very quiet, a welcome lull in tropical activity. And we are three names in with the next name on the list as Debbie. Now, I don't expect any development, whether that be tropical or subtropical over the next seven days. One of the reasons is because of this, all of the Saharan dust coming all across the Atlantic Basin in really high concentrations. You can see those darker colors. Now we are looking at this, another plume arriving in Southwest Florida, but it won't be for days still. So if you remember last week, we had quite the hazy outlook. Many of you have respiratory issues, dealing with that enhanced a little bit, but we aren't necessarily going to see the impacts again from another round of dust until Saturday morning. And notice it's not high concentration, but we will be seeing some of this working in by the weekend. So notice that it is going to be a little bit hazier again. This will likely enhance our sunsets heading into Saturday night and Sunday, but this concentration isn't going to be all too high. So overall, you know the drill. If you have respiratory issues this weekend, you might want to consider limiting time outdoors as well. Now, over the rest of the work week ahead of the dust, we are going to see a pretty decent chance for after afternoon storms most days and it's mainly going to be toward the coast. We'll see that today heading into Wednesday and Thursday. There's just not quite as much moisture available in the atmosphere. So we're looking at isolated storms. Still going to see some afternoon pop up storms, but not as high with the coverage or intensity. Scattered storms Friday, Saturday and Sunday. But again, this weekend, another plume of dust arrives with temperatures still in the low 90s. That's your NBC2 first alert forecast.